prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural number. Again in this question we have an equation which we need to prove by using the principle of mathematical induction. So let's go ahead with the solution. Let the given statement be Pn. So here we have Pn such that 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square and so on all the way up to 2n minus 1 whole square equal to n times of 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 whole upon 3. Well in our first step we will try to prove that the given equation is true for n equal to 1 which is our verification step. So now for n equal to 1 we have on the left hand side of the equation p1 as 1 square that is 1 itself and on the right hand side we have an expression where we need to substitute n equal to 1 to get p1 so this will give us 1 into 2 into 1 minus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 1 whole upon 3 and this is nothing but 2 minus 1 is 1 into 2 plus 1 is 3 upon 3 and now cancelling 3 both from the numerator and denominator we are left with 1. So we can say that the given equation holds true for n equal to 1 since we have the same value of p1 for both LHS and RHS. Moving on to our second step that is our assumption step where we will assume that p of k is true for some positive integer k. Assume that pk is true for some positive integer k that is we have pk such that 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square and so on up to 2k minus 1 whole square equals to k times of 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 whole upon 3. Let us call it as equation 1 and in our final step that is our generalization step now we shall try to prove that p of k plus 1 is also true for the given statement. Here we will try to prove that we shall prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. That is here we have p of k plus 1 such that 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square and so on up to 2k minus 1 whole square plus 2k plus 1 minus 1 whole square and now from our first equation we have the value of this quantity as k times of 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 upon 3 so we'll go ahead and substitute it which will give us that is on substituting its value we have k into 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 whole upon 3 and the value of this quantity is 2k plus 2 minus 1 that is 2k plus 1 whole square we have 2k plus 1 whole square and this is nothing but k times of 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 plus 3 times of 2k plus 1 whole square whole upon 3 here we have taken LCM of 3 and now in our next step we will take 2k plus 1 common from the two terms on the numerator so we have 2k plus 1 into k times of 2k minus 1 plus 3 times of 2k plus 1 whole upon 3 this gives us 2k plus 1 into k into 2k is 2k square minus k into 1 is k plus 3 into 2k is 6k plus 3 into 1 is 3 whole upon 3 now this is nothing but 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 into 2k square minus k plus 6k will give us plus 5k and plus 1 as such whole upon 3 now when you will factorize this polynomial you will get two factors one of the factor is 2k plus 3 and the other factor is k plus 1 I am leaving this step for you to find it and finally we can write it as 2k plus 1 into 
2k plus 3 into k plus 1 whole upon 3. Well, we have nearly arrived to the completion of this question. I am writing k plus 1 first and then 2k plus 1 can also be written as twice of k plus 1 minus 1 and 2k plus 3 can be written as twice of k plus 1 plus 1 whole upon 3. Therefore, we can say that this condition is true for n equal to k plus 1. Thus, p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true. Hence, from the principle of mathematical induction, the statement Pn is true for all natural number n. So, this completes our solution.